Last Saturday, Manish Acharya had an unfortunate horse riding accident that took his life. His sudden death sent shockwaves around the world. The loins of Punjab actor and filmmaker only made one film, but in the process managed to touch the lives of many very deeply. We met with some of his loin stars, collaborators, friends, and teachers in New York City who pay tribute. There's only one star that has appealed across age groups, across genders, across state boundaries. And that is Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Har zulm mitane ko ek masiha nikalta hai Jisse log shahensha kehte hai Shahensha, shahensha, shahensha! My girlfriend loves Amitabh. I mean, I was stunned. It's one of those things where I, I woke up Saturday morning and, and uh, you know, I turned on my phone and saw a bunch of emails from students and people that knew him, um, you know, with the news. And it's like one of those things where it just doesn't, it doesn't process. King galactic life force of Bhangra. The galactic Jedi life force of Bhangra. I'm the best. So is that kind of in your face? It's kind of like almost uh, like, uh, you know? Like tag team. It, it, is the, it is. He was bound for so many great things. He had beat Bombay at their own game. You know, uh, he was really pushing the envelope and he changed a lot of things. He wasn't one of these typical directors. Uh, he was an incredible soul and it's gonna be a, it's, it's gonna be a huge loss because he was gonna make monumental work. You want me to sing something else? For me, it was like the new Jane Bhi Yaro. And with that, with Manish, we sort of lost that incredible wit that we can bring to Indian cinema. Because Indian movies, especially when they're comedies, they, it's slapstick, you know, it's uh, Akshay Kumar and Singh's gang. They don't really have wit. And he had tremendous wit. And also tremendous compassion. I mean, every character in Loyans of Punjab, you know, he deals with them so compassionately. He doesn't condescend to them. He's not looking down on them. He just does it with so much style, so much love, and so much humor. It's an incredible loss. Watch yourself, please. Please. Hey, what are you doing? Herbert? You can you can really enjoy the process. And you don't have to become friends afterwards. I mean you can be very good acquaintances and see each other once in a while, maybe. Um, with Manish, it grew into a friendship. He was the kind of man who, if I called him on the rare occasion that I did, you know, nine out of ten times he'd take the call even if he's in a meeting. <laughs> and there were times if he didn't, he would somehow get back at some point. And he had so much going on for him. He was such an active and talented man, not just as a director or an actor or a writer, but he did so many other things also that he excelled in. But he always made the time and he had that sensitivity. I mean, I would say he was not a perfect man like none of us are, but he was the perfect spirit. I'd pay $10 to see you in a movie. A lot of people would. Thank you. I have never known anyone like Manish. Uh, what he was able to do, because Loins of Punjab was really uh, his thesis at NYU, uh, that he was able to reach so many people, uh, affect so many people, both in, in India and in the Desi community in America and around the world. I just think it's an enormous loss because we don't get to see what he's gonna do now. As someone who took an umbrella of Shaban Azmi to Ajay Naidu to Aisha Dharkar to Darshan Jaiwala to everyone involved and, and made a story and made it in English, it just blew us out of the water. And, and we literally just laughed and laughed and laughed. And, and uh, he talked about future project and he was like, yeah, Ajay, you, you and Ajay will definitely be in it. It's called Mr. Airplane. It's already financed, it's already you know, happening. And I remember when the last thing he said, he said, I don't want to leave right now. Uh, as we were there, we, I don't want to leave to get on the plane. And, you know, we said, if he had to leave, obviously. And so we said, we just walked him to the door with the luggage and gave him 
a hug, each one by one, and, uh, and then two weeks later. You went out for dinner with Mrs. Kapoor, no? Yes, but how do you Are know? We wanted to take you out. You wanted to take me out? You go out with Kapoor. You cannot come out with Patel. Huh? We are not good enough for you. Mm. You are against Patel? Of course not. No, eh? no, no. He is not. Come. Chale away. Don't say no now. Huh? Come on, you'll have great fun. I think it would have been, obviously, it would have been a different thing had he been sick, sick for like six months or seven months. He knew something. He had an illness. But to hear sort of just the sudden, you know, the suddenness of it and then sort of to wake up Saturday morning and to get uh, a rash of emails and Facebook messages and uh, text messages, I still feel like I'm kind of absorbing the news. There are people who probably never met him and are missing him so immensely just because of the person he was and, and the potential that he had that if you know, he came into your life, there's just a very hard chance that you, know, you will let something like this go by without feeling the pain. And there's just so many different levels that people related to him. Um, the character from his film, completely you know, eccentric, but it was Manish, that was also the real Manish. Um, you know, a friend, a filmmaker, and on every level he gave 120%. And I think that has compounded today for people um, to not be able to cope with this loss that we're you know, facing. The flowers are for Dhruvi, my wife, who, uh, whose birthday it is today. And I'm actually racing back home. I'm already going to be a little late. But uh, what's scary is I'm going to walk in with these flowers and the first thing she's going to ask me is who did you send to buy them because she knows they're not my taste at all, nor are they hers. But I'm hoping that the effort of me actually sending someone to get it will yield me maybe like half a brownie point or something. He was somebody also that was uh, clearly going to be a mentor, um, you know, to other filmmakers and again, kind of, uh, you know, create precedence. Um, and I know he was working on a number of bigger films and, uh, you know, just from a pure talent perspective, it's a big loss. And I think, um, you know, I think one door was open, but Manish would have opened others um, and probably in a bigger way. He did a great film and then he lived life and he enjoyed fast cars and fast bikes and at the same time, you know, he was this really funny, funny guy. He was the, you know how there's the Iron Man? He was the ironic man. When I was telling him last week, you know, he was sitting right here in this office, and then there was one point in our conversation where I, I really literally just stopped and looked at him and said, you know, this is, you know, you're, you're really about, just about to become some, like this really important person in, in Indian cinema and in world cinema. He was the first one that wrote I heard, I heard that Ajay won Best Actor in my act, and he said that's, he said that's because he is, and that really was special for me that he did that because he was the only one that said something like that. <laughs>